Let's go. We getting it started. I'm in the building. Nah, nah, nah. We here. Look at this. I already see the comments. I already see the comments. I already see that Ken is taking shots at me. What's going Let's on? Let's go. We getting it What's going on? I'm in the building. All right. Anyway, I'm in the building. What's going on, community? It is your boy, J. Cruz, Mr. Healthy Bearded, and we are in the building. Uh, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Uh, I'm excited. We're about to have a good old time, and I hope that everyone is doing well today. Um, but what's going on with everyone in here right now? Uh, yeah, man, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And uh, I'm going to give out a couple of shout outs, but we got a lot of room to cover. And trust me, today is not going to be a two hour show. Last week was uh, last week was interesting. <laughs> a lot of people were like, yo, J. Cruz, you didn't even have any oil, any oil on like on your hand. I like you didn't have anywhere else to put oil. I know. I know. I know yes, last week was crazy, but we're here today at the CMU and I got to give out shout outs right away. You know, we got to treat everyone with respect here. And let me tell you right now, just some house rules, right? This is a positive platform. We're here to, we're here to build each other up, have some good laughs, you know, do some good jokes. Remember boundaries though, gentlemen, boundaries and ladies, if you're in here as well. Uh, but either way, I appreciate everyone that's here tonight. We're at 22 people so far. And listen, let's get it started. But I'm going to give out some shout outs. Is that okay? I'm going to make sure to do that. And listen, uh, I got some coffee. So, oh, you know, oh, you know, it's going to be lit tonight. I'm just saying. <laughs> so let's go. Starting off at number one, my brother Chops, Daniel Chops, that's his name, Daniel. Shout out to him. Brother Casey Bushy. Uh, we got Brother Wolf in the building. We got, who do we else? We have brother, brother right here, Bearded Vato. Oh, we got Bam himself. He's in the building too. I appreciate he was able to come out today. Oh, we got Billy, Mr. Positivity. Here's the thing with brother Billy, man. Brother Billy, I am trying to, you know, the more you, the more you hang out with people, man, the more you, you, the good positive, you know, qualities of that individual can rub off on you. And I'm trying to do that with uh, Brother Billy. So shout out to Brother Billy in the building. We got Scott here. We got Scott here. Awaiting the nicely spoken words. Well, I'm, a, I'm a talking to you nice, bro. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Hey, listen, I only was only running like a couple of minutes late. What are you talking about, brother? Anyway, Disney Beards, man, what's going on? We got El Tomahawk in the building, Tommy. Ooh, Bearded Vato, look at that, bro. They already coming for you, bro. They saying they're prioritized over you. We got my brother from another mother all the way on the west. No, he said the south, the south in the great state of Kentucky. Kentucky fried chicken? Well, anyway. <laughs> Joshua Riggs says number one. Hey, Peter Vato, is that is that accurate? Is he number one or no? Let me know. Let me know if that's true. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I should believe him. Who else is here? Oh, we got Brother Tyson. What's going on, sir? How are you today? How are you today? I'm. I'm listen, I know these comments are rolling in kind of slow today. Okay, okay. Everyone's here. Hey, look, Troy's in the building. Look, the Saints fans is in the building. The Saints fans are in the building. I did not. I did not forget to hit that live button. Uh, doing push-ups, Tommy. Who's doing push-ups? Who are you talking about? Man, what's wrong with you? Here, heard this is where we get to kick back and relax. Brother, listen, make sure you just, this is an hour for the community, by the community. Now, the only thing, Jason, the last couple of weeks I noticed You've been talking a little spicy, bro, on these comments, but uh, I'm going to let it slide because, you know, it's all positive vibes in here. <laughs> Whoa, this jumped up completely. Okay, I'm late. What's going on, Ray? Welcome, sir. Oh, where's Jay Cruz at? Ken, any ideas? Shout out to Mick and Ryan. Make sure you catch them on Saturdays on their YouTube channel, uh, The Bearded Society, Mick and Ryan. Those are some of my... Uh, close brothers in the community, as far as like they're just humble brothers willing to talk to you or anybody, honestly, when it comes to anything related, beard products and stuff like that. So shout out to them. We got brother Josh in the building. Oh man, I can't go through all of these. Oh, what's going on? Hey brother, everyone shout out to brother Eric, Sober Chef Eric. The brother makes hot sauce. I'm trying to see 
if he's going to put it out in the market, because, you know, I love me some hot sauce, brother. You know what I'm talking about? And you used to be a chef. Well, it's not used to, right? You're always a chef. So uh, either way to you, shout out to Eric. Man, what's going on, Walter Miss? Yo, I'm hyped. This coffee, I got to take it easy. <laughs> Ah, all right. Walter is in the building. Hey, fellas, I, if I don't respond, I'm eating. Hook them. First of all, hook them. Thank you again for last week. You are the man. I appreciate you for what you did last week. What are you eating on? What are you chewing on, brother? Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's here. Mike, Michael Zarati's here. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken, I'm giving you the warning right now. Michael Zarati is in here. So anything that he says, please give him a warning in case he goes out of line. All right. Who else is here? Hit that like button. Yo, do me that favor. Can we do that? We're at 33 people in the building right now. We usually get a crowd around 40 to 55 people on Tuesdays, and I can appreciate that. Oh, boundaries. What are boundaries? Well, brother, keep playing, and you're going to find out. <laughs> What's going on, brother Mason? Welcome, welcome. Oh, man, everyone's here, man. Everyone's here. Oh, what's up, brother Dagan? What's going on, bro? All right. Ella, Ricky in the building everyone's in the building. There's so many people. I can't go through everyone, man. Oh, man. Everyone's, I don't know that guy, Cruz. You don't know that guy. Come on, come on. As you guys can see, these comments are really slow today. I don't know what's going on. They were, they, at one point, they were real slow. They jumped up like Craig's in the building. Everyone's here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Stuffing my face with Chick-fil-A. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to brother Liam. Liam, I hope you don't take this offensive. I want to congratulate him. He just got a he just got a job offer. The brother's recovering from a from a crazy motorcycle accident, and he's asking me about tacos. Mind you, the brother the brother is married to an awesome uh, Latina, so he's probably has the best tacos. I mean, the best I can give you right now, brother, is maybe some Taco Bell. But either way, I know you definitely are having some good food. There's so many people. Excuse me if I am missing you. Uh, wait, this brother right here, ladies and gentlemen, I don't, I know Bam doesn't have, Jolly Old Fat Man doesn't have ambassadors, right? Okay. But if there was somebody in the community that is at that point almost, it's Brian Hershey. Brian Hershey has one of the biggest JOFM collections in the community. I'm trying to see if he's willing to sell it to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll pay you in some food stamps, brother, but you know, times is hard. Times is hard. <laughs> Everyone's in here. Okay. Apologies if I am. Apologies. Okay. I'm. Uh, uh, there's so many people. On, there's people in here. I don't know how my brother Dancy does it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Dancy, uh, he gets like 300 people on a weekly basis. And uh, yeah. All right. Comments are being. <laughs> comments are because I reported you for cyberbullying. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> but listen, guys, uh, let's get this show started. We're at 10 minutes in. I ran a couple of minutes late and I apologize. I hope that everyone here is doing well. Everyone is, uh, you know, really doing well. But listen, I got to address a couple of people in this chat and I, and I hope this doesn't come off wrong. OK, I hope this doesn't come off wrong. Let's be serious for a moment. OK. Um, I think I, I think it's important that I address this. Um, because the reality is it needs to be addressed. Um, for the most part, I am a peaceful individual. For the most part, I am a peaceful individual. Um, but there's something that I think we need to address um, here at the CMU. And um, this might be a little controversial, but I think we should all pay attention to this. And um, that is... How about them Saints? Let's go. Who said who said Chicago Bears was going to beat the Saints this week? Right? I know Ken's in here. I know Ken's in here. So uh, all you Packer fans, we coming for you. That's all I'm saying. We're going to take care of Tampa Bay this week, and uh, and we coming for the Packers. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody, I wonder who I got with that, right? There was a couple of brothers that were probably like, what is Jay Cruz going to say? What is Jay Cruz going to say? But shout out to the Saints, man. We took that dub, man. Uh, you, hey, hey, bam! You can't leave, brother. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I got somebody. Okay, you see, Diablo thought I got him. He thought I got him. They were like, "Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on?" Oh man! <laughs> 
Hey, man, listen, the Browns, though. Woo! I'm telling you, Colin Joe, I don't think Colin Joe are here, but they surprised me. I was not expecting the Browns to beat the Steelers. Just to be honest, I wasn't expecting that. That was something else. You see this guy? You see this guy right here? You see this guy right here? I don't want to brag, Cruz, but I got baby back ribs coming out. That's disrespectful, man. What's going on, Pete? Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Oh, man. All right, guys. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate all you guys. I'm just here busting chops a little bit before we get this show started. I do appreciate everyone that is here with us tonight. Browns had a good run, but the Chiefs are going to crush it. Ryan, are you sure about that? Okay, now nah, we're not running. <laughs> Hold up, Rogers. We're not running. I'm 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 with it. I, I ain't scared. He said Jay Cruz is scared. He ain't gonna highlight any of my comments, brother. I'm here. I'm here. What's up? <laughs> oh, who said this? I still have my money on the Cowboys. Oh, <laughs> what's going on, Irish Whisker? What's going on, bro? Okay, howdy to anyone I missed. Yeah, shout out to anyone I didn't call their name. Shout out to everyone. Um, listen, guys, hold on. We're at 40 people tonight. Shout out to the whole squad. The CMU is live. I got my coffee. We're going to have a good time. This is a community meetup. Listen, guys, I call you guys my co-host because you make this show what it is, too. It's not just me. I'm behind the camera. You guys were clowning last week with my hospital gown over here. Uh, but, we, you know, it's part of the, the process, right? Uh, but I really am happy that you guys are here. We have 41 people. I do appreciate all of you that are here with me tonight, and uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to interact. This, part, this is an experience, right? The community meetup, the CMU. Uh, they're saying, go Browns, go Browns. Hey, listen, I don't know if the Browns are going to beat the Chiefs, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, it's going to be a rough ride for you guys. And uh, for the Packer fans, hey, listen, the Rams beat the Seahawks, and I wasn't expecting that either. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. All right. All right. Cruz, what is your coffee of choice? So this is actually um, Bustelo. It's, I believe it's Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican coffee, or it might be Colombian. I'm not sure. Um, but man, listen, if I'm going to the office and I want to act a little bougie, I'll get some Starbucks. But no, 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 no. I'll get Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what you guys have in your area up here on the East Coast. Oh, Brother Ryan, what's going on, sir? What's going on, sir? Everyone's here, man. Oh, man, everyone is here tonight. We got 41 people on a Tuesday, on a taco Tuesday, and I got no tacos. <laughs> Liam, can you get us some tacos, sir, tonight? <laughs> oh, man, Cuban. Okay, so you like coffee. Okay, Cuban coffee. Now, hey, hey, Billy, when we go down to the meetup where Dan C is going to be at and all the people, all everyone's coming on, on the 31st, bro, I'm out there for a couple of days. You want to go to Cuban restaurant? We get some Cuban coffee, brother. Chill, you know, ch bus chops, whatever you want to do. Let me know. Let me know. That stuff is great. Hold on, Dagan. You hate coffee. Disrespectful, David. Dagan, Dagan, that's disrespectful. Cruz, looking good, brother, for real. Hard work pays off. Good on you, man. I pr well, I appreciate it, brother. Let me take that compliment. But at the same time, I got a lot of work to do, brother. I'm just telling you. We going up. We going up. We have 42. Oh, speaking of Joe and Kyle, we were just talking about the Browns. We were just talking about how no one saw the Browns beating the Steelers. You know, I addressed the Packer fans in here. All you Packer fans, Ram fans, Seahawks fans, you guys have been very disrespectful towards me. I mean, I've had people make stories and tag me in it to address me. Um, but nevertheless, I appreciate all you guys in here. Everyone is here. If I didn't call your name, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you. So coffee, right? Coffee, Bustelo. Oh, hold on. Okay, Irish Whisker. Talk to me nice with 45 people in here. Bustelo is from the Dominican Republic. I went to DR and found out there. Let's go. I appreciate you. Hold on. Mason, Mason, what Mason say? Because yo, don't let that, don't let that pharmacist fool you, man. He got a little mouth. He be talking spicy sometimes. <laughs> Nah, shout out to Mason. Shout out to Mason. <laughs> uh, tacos, tacos, tacos. <laughs> Do you have a coffee scent, Bam? Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out later on. Oh, whoa. How can you hate coffee? 
I don't know. Dagan said he hates coffee. He's in Texas. He might be a Cowboy fan. That, that kind of makes sense, you know? <laughs> Café con leche. Hook, hook, hook him. What you know about that, bro? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, Michael Zarate. I don't know if that's true, brother. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Except us. Joe. Joe. All right. Take it easy. You play the Chiefs next week, buddy. Okay. I guess it's better than the guy who hates peanut butter. Oh! Two, two, two. Shots fired. Whoa. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, man. Joe, they're coming for you, brother. Jason threw a shot your way. Oh, man. Whoa. Coffee is gross. No, no, no. This brother not only likes, he doesn't like peanut butter, he doesn't like coffee, and I'm going to let all 46 of you people know that Joe, something wrong with Joe. I don't know what it is. Joe, if you go to the meetup, brother, let's have a talk. We'll, we'll sit down. We'll, you know what I'm saying? We'll figure something out because, bro, I don't understand you. <laughs> oh, they're going to whoop. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what coffee I'm having tonight. Banana frosting. Okay. And we'll beat them too. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the definition of delusional right here. Okay. <laughs> I'll resp I'm just busting chops. Those are, those are my guys. Oh, what's going on, man? David Garcia. What's up, cuz? That's my little cousin. He's in the building. Future MLS player. Definitely, you know, going to college for soccer and everything. The man is uh, the man's ready. All right, guys. Listen, let me know right now. What's in your beer today? What are you rocking in your beer today for the CMU? Talk to me nice. Let me know what's in your beard. Maybe it's something I haven't heard about. Maybe it's something that, you know, there's some content creators in here, so they might be reviewing something. I don't know. But let me know what's in your beard. And when you when you talk to me, talk to me nice, all right? Let's be polite, all right? Let me know what's in your beard right now. Talk to me nice. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Jason, be nice, brother. Let me know what's in beard today. Um, let me know what's in beard, man. Talk to me nice. I want to hear what you guys got in beard today. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to have some fun. We have, we've had 46 people in here and uh, I'm excited, man. You guys really do. You guys rock with the CMU, man. Like, I appreciate that, bro. And now I don't have to cry at night. <laughs> Let me know what's in beer tonight. And if I don't get to yours, apologies, okay? Oh, man, people are throwing in them comments. Hold on. Bucking beard oil. Okay, okay. Misfit Dirty Snow. Okay. Whiskey and Hard Tech Icebreaker. If you haven't checked out my review, I that was my last review I dropped. All right. Irish Blue Chesapeake. Okay. Honorable Mac. Okay. Hey, listen, Dan just had a um a last yesterday they did a live stream with Honorable with the uh, Bearded Mac. Uh sh shark attack butter. Hanyanker body language. Okay. Now, Mick, is this your new collab with a uh, with uh beard guys? Is this your new collab? A saltine cracker crumbs? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh man. Uh um <laughs> Whoa. Copper John's Nightfall. Yeah. Copper John's got some stuff, man. Uh Captain Stash Calico Jack. Hey, listen, I man, I'm well, I'm hearing good things. I'm hearing good things. Gentlemen's cut whiskey and hardtack. I am wearing pillow talk from Beard Justice. Okay. I don't know what that is, Joe. Dreamsicle and Beard. I never heard of that company. Dirty Snow. Barbershop scent. Okay, okay. Define. Okay, King's Bounty. Gentleman's Cut. Okay. Oh, Puzzly, what's going on, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Be okay. Uh, Bearded Sons of Journeyman Butter. Okay. Jolly Old Fat Man, Misfit Toys, Oil and Butter. 
I, I, wait, what is Irish Whisker talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> All right, guys. I rock with jolly old fat man's paradise yesterday. High compliments every time. I haven't even seen that yet. I don't even know if he has that. 1745 by Eli Beard Oil. Why does that sound a little biased? <laughs> oh, man. You see, this is what I'm talking about showing off right here. This brother wants to show off right now during this live stream. <laughs> the CMU is definitely not poo. Love this night. Well, I appreciate that you love it, man. I, you know, it's for the community, bro. We have a good time. We have a good time. I came here for my two views. I want this smoke cruise. You talking spicy. Brother, take it easy. Okay, so make it it is mix uh beard um collaboration with beard guys. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Brother man, listen. Uh, <laughs> them, them kids probably drive me crazy, bro. Like trying to put kisses. Oh man, I'm not a dad yet, brother. That's on you. <laughs> I got a niece and a brother, bro. And when they go, when they can't be quiet, oh, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Arad. Okay, okay. Beer gents. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, Dan? Daniel, what's going on, Chops? Oh, Brian. Oh, what's up, Magic City? What's going on? Now, listen. The brother's, the owner is a Saints fan, too. So, shout out to him. Jay Cruz, what you got in beard? I actually have luxurious bastard. I believe I have this sexy bastard. It just compliments me very well. The scent. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, guys. All right, all right, guys. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys. Okay, all right. So, guys, listen. Let's 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 get it started, right? Because we 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 gotta we gotta get this show rolling. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are gonna be featuring um, Jolly Old Fat Man. I've come to accept the term of the company. It is what it is. That's his name. I'm okay. I'm not that sensitive. <laughs> But it is J-O-F-M for those of you that do not know. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to be uh, talking about the company a little bit. Some things that you get that you guys may know or may not know about. Some Hey, hey, who let this brother in here? Who let this brother in here, man? <laughs> What's going on, Devin? What's going on? Welcome, sir, to the CMU. I appreciate all of you that are coming in here. We've had 46 people uh, in here. And um just as long as y'all realize Florida is coming for y'all. Liam, Tampa Bay is not winning. <laughs> All right, people. So listen, listen, um, jolly old fat man. I've, I've had the opportunity to talk to Bam on, on different occasions. And, um, you know, we've had conversations about his product. I will tell you this. Uh, one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm into sense and I'm also into feeling beard. And as I continue to grow as a content creator, that, that will develop as well. Right. Um, if I can have both of best worlds, that's great. Sometimes that's not always the case, but I've had interactions with Bam and we've spoken about his company. Um, you know, I told him that I'd be, you know, that he'd be on featured on, on this week. And um, I have some cool stuff from him. One thing that I will say about Bam, um, and you guys saw a couple of weeks ago that he may, he was on the list for companies to be on the lookout for in uh, the year 2021 was uh, there's some creativeness in his products, right? It's not your typical standard. Uh, he's had the opportunity to work with Oz, the artist. A lot of you know him in the community. Um, so his artwork does stand out. Um, I know there's a couple of people in here, even people like Devin, Brian Hershey, um, people that have purchased from BAM have pretty nice collections. You can see that um, the, 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 the artwork, the it just, it's really nice, right? It stands out, right? As far as like, they have some stuff ever as it relates to um, the uh, the Wizard of Oz. There's, there was a release today for one of his products. And um, it's just, it's just, it's uh, as a customer, um, when I was just a customer, I, I can enjoy that because it's just different. You know what I'm saying? It's something different uh, that people may experience. So nevertheless, Here's my question to you. And Bam, Bam, uh, his whole theme behind this company has to do with um, Christmas, the Santa Claus theme. Um, he wasn't able to do this this year again. Uh, I believe, Bam, let me know if it's true. Uh, Bam, every year he grows out his beard and he dyes it at the end of the year for Christmas. Um, he puts it, you know, he dyes it. 
and then he shaves it off because you know that that stuff can really hurt a beard. <laughs> but he does that to be, you know, he loves doing that for his community, for the people, for the people and the children in the community, just a way of him giving back. He does a whole light show in his community. His whole electricity bill probably is through the roof. I mean, it probably is almost as much as a student loan um, loan. <laughs> But nevertheless, that's what he likes to do. That's what he wants to do. And um, it's just Christmas theme. So Jolly Old Fat Man, that's the name. That's the name of the company, J-O-F-M. And that's a little bit about the history or the concept of the company. But with that being said, can anyone here let me know, what is your favorite Jolly Old Fat Man scent? If you've tried them, can you let me know, what is your favorite Jolly Old Fat Man scent? Can we do that? Can you let me know that? Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you what I own personally so far from BAM, from JOFM. I own Bad Santa, right? This is Bad Santa. And this is, this is, hold on. Let me see if it has, it doesn't have the fragrance here. I don't have the fragrance for this one. This is a pretty nice fragrance, uh, Bad Santa. I don't know if you can see it. No, okay. This is Bad Santa. I have Bad Santa from JOFM, but this is, this is the one, and he'll tell you, I think this is probably his best seller, right? Misfit Toys. I don't know if you've ever, I don't even know if this will pick it up. Okay. This is Misfit Toys by Jolly Old Fat Man, and I got to tell you, look at these green tops on these bottles. Obviously, it stands out. In my collection, I don't have another I don't have another one that has this color bottle top, right? This this dropper. So it definitely stands out. But let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Jolly Old Fat Man scent? Let me know that in the comments. We'll talk about it. But this is uh, Misfit Toys. Um, oh, man. And let me tell you what Misfit Toys. Hold on. Give me a second. So Misfit Toys is sandalwood, oud, blackberry, eucalyptus, Irish and others not listed. So obviously he has other stuff in there as well. Um, but Misfit Toys, as far as scents, Misfit Toys, brothers, I'm telling you right now, Misfit Toys is a beautiful scent. We're talking about scents here, okay? So Misfit Toys, the scent on this bad boy. I mean, what, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Okay, and I also have from him, Crumpus, Crumpus, okay, and this is eucalyptics, eu eucalyptics, eucalyptus, spearmint, smoky tobacco, cedar, cherry, and musk, okay, and uh, this one I believe is a cologne scent, or it could be a cologne, right, Bam? Nice, nice, okay, and then we have Run Run Rudolph, and this is, I believe this is a cappuccino, cappuccino and from what i understand bam's wife this is her favorite one so let me read the comments now that i showed you what i have so far in my collection let me read the comments and i'll let you know what you got what the people are saying so here we go hey what's up mac what's going on oh mac what's going on mac mac's been feeling sick man speedy recovery brother brother's been sick for a while now um all right so let me see what's in here man Stanky T. I don't know if that's if that's an actual scent from JOFM. I don't think so. <laughs> Misfit Toys, but Billy says Misfit Toys. Okay. Okay. Devin. Devin said Misfit. And De Devin, uh, Devin has a pretty a pretty good amount of JOFM, right, Dev? Okay. Uh with dirty snow uses 50 to 75% of the butter you normally use. A little goes a long way. Okay. Winner is coming. Pete says winner is coming. I have yet to try that one. Hey, what's up? What's up, peaches? <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> South Pole. Okay, South Pole. All right, listen, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to address this one time. The brother is releasing a scent called Sweet Baby Jesus. Just go look at the artwork. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Misfit Toys. Okay, okay. River Pimp and Rainbow Goblin. Okay, okay. The truth is... The truth, the truth is my favorite that I have tried. Okay. Never gave fragrance on Bad Santa. Okay, so you you holding that one close to the chest. Okay. 
Okay. Just purchased JOFM for the first time today. Okay. Okay. Tommy said Misfit Toys and Santa Ria Sunrise. Hey, listen, Tommy has a big collection of this stuff too. I still only have one and it's Fast Mass Paradise. I don't know if you're being funny or if that's really a, a scent. Um, it's top three scent of, for my girlfriend. It's awesome, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Queen Jester, the man with no heart, or oh, 25. Okay. Hey, bam, there's some stuff in here that um, you know, that I don't see on the website, obviously, because you know, I, I know it's no longer selling. Oh, Hookham said Misfit Toys off season and oh yeah are my favorite. Okay. Yes, a little darker. Healthy beard is called Krampus. All right, brother. Listen, keep it easy. Keep it easy. I already know how I am. My favorite, my favorite jolly old fat man is is the one he made for me the second would be oh yeah okay yeah because um if you don't know and i, I don't uh, bam please let me know in the comments um bam has a um i don't know if he's doing it currently but he's going to be developing this thing called sanitize me where you work with him one-on-one -on -one. you guys create a scent you get a tumbler you get a oil butter hybrid and it's you know it's an experience so um what's going hey what's up chad what's going on brother how you doing man my favorite is nice list. Okay. Okay. The real, it's a real scent, Jay Cruz. Okay. A lot of the older stuff. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. So listen, it seems that Bam does have a following, um, right? There's people in the community that really rock with his company. Um, so here's the thing, because it is a Christmas theme, right? A lot of the stuff that he has, his whole company is based off the principle of Santa. Hey, listen, how many of you actually saw my promo video today? Did you see that? My promo video, my, my my promo video for tonight CMU on my Instagram, wasn't that funny? I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I don't know if you guys thought it was funny. Um, let me know. Did you watch my video today on Instagram? I thought it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> oh man, but listen. Um, so here's the thing. Because it's Christmas, let's have a little fun. I want to ask you a question. All right, here we go. Here's the question. Okay, we're gonna get to the products right quick. But here is the question. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me, what is the best Christmas gift you ever got? What is the best Christmas gift you ever got? Go back into your into your memory bank if you what you remember, and go go and tell me what is your favorite Christmas gift you ever got growing up? Maybe a couple years ago. Let me know. We're talking about Christmas. I know it's January, but this is a Christmas theme company. So let me know in the comments what is your favorite Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Your best, the best Christmas gift you ever gotten. Let me know in the comments below and talk to me nice. I think for me, when I was a when I was a child, man, I think it was a Batman pinball machine, but it wasn't, it was, it was a, um, a small one. I saw it in the catalog. I had told my mom about it and she, she purchased it for me. It was a Batman catalog. It was a Batman pinball machine. I think that was my favorite growing up, my favorite gift ever. You know, I think that, yeah, that's probably, probably, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Let me see what people are saying. More people need to try Jolly Old Fat Man. It's another world from everything else. The sense, the softness. Okay, okay. So we'll talk about that too. We'll talk about that. Oh, man. Shout out to Ryan. He said my son a couple of weeks early. <clears throat> Shout out to you, Ryan. Shout out to you. He's a, Ryan's such a great man. You know, great brother, man. Hookham said the first Nintendo that came out. The one in the 1985 Nintendo or the Super Nintendo? Let me know. Oh, the best Christmas gift I ever got was a Dixon flannel. Okay. Okay. The jolly old fat man tumbler. Okay. Okay, Brian Hershey. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Billy said, <clears throat> Billy said, my niece getting off of quarantine so we didn't have to postpone Christmas this year. That's, that's the best gift he got for Christmas. Oh, that's great, Billy. Yeah, B Billy's been a little slump lately with the COVID stuff, but... uh. He's coming through. Irish Whisker said, time with my family. Don't need material gifts. Respect, sir. Respect. 
Yeah, Mick. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Walterman said Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Okay. Ooh, the whole collection of Star Wars when I was little. Okay. My Bears starter jacket. Okay, Bam. Okay. Chicago Bears? I thought you were an Atlanta fan. <laughs> My health back. Okay, that's awesome, man. Yo, that little pinball machine. Eventually, the back legs fell off, and you have to prop. Oh, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Hey, listen, welcome to you, man. Shout out to you. I think you just subscribed to my channel a couple days ago, man. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the CMU. We do this every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. We have anywhere from like 40 to 55 people in here. All right, Fender Jazz. Okay, Fender Jazz Bass from my mom when I started playing. Okay, Fender Jazz Bass. Bass, bass, bass. Chad, uh, uh, 21 in a couple weeks. 21. Brother, I thought you was older. Okay, it was this first Nintendo, 1985. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. GoPro Hero 8, but last year I got a really nice. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. I have to say this year I got a Nintendo 64. I have to say the year I got Nintendo 64 when I was a kid. Okay, nice, nice. Chad said, books, I need books. Now, Chad, listen, I'm not, I'm, I, I can't read books. I actually have the Audible, the Audible. I think it's an Amazon service. I was listening to a book today. Oh, South Side of Chicago, born and raised. Really, bam. Okay, all right. That's why you're so uh, nice. <laughs> I love fam. I love uh, an Atlanta fan. They exist. Yeah, they do exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worst, okay, worst gift, a message from Jay Cruz telling me Felice Navidad. That's the worst gift. That's not the worst. No, no, okay. Viene vato. Tranquilo, manito, tranquilo. I did subscribe. Thanks for remind for remembering. Saw you on Dancy's channel. Enjoyed your energy so much. Had to look you up. Oh man, that's awesome, man. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. Andrew, when did you get here, Andrew? Andrew, you just showed up here, brother. I never I didn't even know you was in here, brother. I got two autographed baseball cards from Freddie Freeman and Ozzy. Okay, go Braves. Okay. All right. So listen, let's get it going. Okay. Let's get it going because we're on a schedule. It's 840. We about to open some of these new products. And this is what I want to tell you, right? This is what I want to tell you. Bam. Right. And let me put, let me, let me, let me show some respect. All right. Let me show some respect. All right. Let me show some respect. Okay. Bam. Last week or a week and a half ago, something like that. He has released a new line of butters. Bam had not been doing butters. He had not been doing that. He had this thing called a hybrid, which uh, Bam, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like a mixture of bomb and butter together. Right. Um, the most, you know, the ingredient that makes it that part of it. And Bam, correct me if I'm wrong, is the BTMS 50. Now, with that being said, Bam decided to create a new line of products for JOFM, his butter line. So he has butters now. And for those of you that the BTMS does not work, right? It, the butters do not have BTMS in it. The butters do not have BTMS in it. So it's still, he's, he's dropped some of the butters that have, yep. Okay. Perfect. So I went ahead and purchased three butters from Bam. Listen, there was talks in the community that this butter was, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know? And because Bam is creative with his approach when it comes to delivery with the stuff he has, okay. Oh, so his hybrid is BTMS 25 and hybrid BTMS 50 in oil. Okay. So with that being said, if you are someone who does not prefer BTMS 50, Bam has a new line of butters that you are able to use. It has no BTMS 50, but we don't stop there. I'm also excited about this. So BAM is in a couple of weeks, if I'm correct, BAM is created, is dropping a new carrier oil blend on his company that will also not have BTMS 50, okay? So again, if you are someone who is 
BTMS 50 does not work for you. You do not want BTMS in your product. Bam got you covered. He is creating a new, he is dropping a new carrier blend with no BTMS. And that will be happening in a couple of weeks. Just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up for that so you guys are aware. And for me, I'll probably be also, I'll be purchasing um, the line, the carrier oil blend with no BTMS. So I just wanted to give you guys that heads up. Okay. So with that being said, let's go to open some of these stuff up. Yeah, I'm about to get some of my um whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Hold up. Nope, that's not happening. Okay. You guys are about to get some of my impressions. I know you guys like my impressions. Cruz, you got three and I got zero. I'm coming for you, brother. Oh, wait, who said that? Who said that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Dagan, yes, I picked them. I picked some up from the non-BTMS. And Dagan, he's creating a new carrier oil blend. And uh, it will not have, it, the option is there for you not to have BTMS in your product. I will, moving forward, uh, we'll go with that one. Oh, Weatherbeard here is here. Okay. What's up, brother? Well, hey, hey, Corey, Corey, I got some coffee, brother. Shout out to Corey, man. He's one of the, one of the people that's always here at the CMU. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ryan just, um, I just want this for evidence in case something happens to me. Um, just know the man works for the post office. And if you have any issues, DM this man directly. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, Ryan. I'm sorry. I'm busting your chops, brother. I'm busting your chops. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, no BTMS oil coming soon. So you heard it here. There is going to be no BTMS oils, and you guys, I'm, I'm moving forward. I will be buying um, most all the products, most likely from with no BTMS. Um, hey Ken, where you been at, brother? Are you getting ready for Sunday? Are you like play, play, running a playbook in the you know in your backyard for them? Good choice. Coffee was created on the fourth. <laughs> okay, Ken is here. Ken is here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. Here we go. I'm opening up this first box from Jolly Old Fat Man. Now, I'm going to tell you the story behind this bad boy. I bought this on Black Friday. I have not opened this up since... Well, no, it didn't get here on Black Friday. I ordered it on Black Friday because it was in my budget. Okay, okay. All right. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> hey, yo, you fellas, don't be DMing Ryan, okay? Chill out. It was a joke. <laughs> Mick, Mick is... Hey, 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 Ryan, look what Mick just said. Ryan, UP, USPS helpline. <laughs> uh, oh, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Ken's my brother, man. Shout out to Ken. He's at like 830 subscribers. I know he's probably like, bro, it's your show. No, but that's my brother, man. We're going to support the brother. So if, you, if you're here and you haven't subscribed to Ken from Bluegrass, go over there now to Bluegrass Bearded and subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's the homie. That's my brother. Okay, so here we go. Now, here's the only thing. Look at this packaging, right? Bam, I don't, I don't, bam, you don't have the boxes anymore, right, for this? Like, there's a shortage in boxes. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> what's going on, big brother? What's going on, sir? <laughs> look at this, look at this. Nick, you're dead to me. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, listen. So I'm about to open up this package. You are about to get my reactions. And I'm going to tell you what I got from here. All right? So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. This, bam. This packaging is nice, brother. Okay? And I don't know if he has. I don't think he has any more boxes. 840 trying to catch Kylan. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Beer Society has officially disbanded on the CMU. You heard it here first. Tell TMZ. <laughs> uh, everyone's showing love to uh, to Big Bearded Brother. No more boxes. Ah, you see, no more boxes. Cost went through the roof and two months to get. So I literally have another box here that has the sticker, a lot of stickers in here. And uh, yeah, man, listen, if, if you're here, make sure you hit the like button. If you just got here, make sure you hit the like button. We've had, what, 46 people in here? All right, so let's open this bad boy up. I don't I don't think Chris is here. Wait till you open it up. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Turn me up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
All right, all right, wait. I don't want to cut myself. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So this is one package, and then I have another package. These are the butters, and these are the oils, okay? This is exactly why Disney. All right, brother. Sorry. I hope he <laughs> I hope he doesn't say it's cool, it's cool. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let me uh let me open this up for you. God, don't break. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin these boxes, man. He don't have any more, so I'm gonna okay. All right, you can see this over here, you know. Look at the packaging. All right, all right, all right. Oh, look at that. It has some nice wording in there. It says, thank you. Thank you from Jolly Old Fat Man Beard Co Beard Company. Okay. So, all right, we got this. We got this here. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right. And Bam was nice enough to throw something in, for, in there for me. He didn't have to. I didn't ask of it. He just wanted to do it. So. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna keep this box, fam. If not, if you don't, if, if 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 anything, I'll sell this box on eBay. No, 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 no. I'm joking. It's an inside joke. Bam knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So, hey, listen, someone, please uh, put this brother on timeout right here. This brother right here, Ken. All right, appreciate it. Listen, listen, Linda. <laughs> Find out that. Okay, here we go. The first one we're gonna open up. Has just released a couple weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It is no other than Uncle Oz. How many of you actually have Uncle Oz in your collection? And I believe, if I am correct, I believe this product is still actually in stock. Let me see. And I'm going to tell you what this end profile is. It is pipe tobacco, bourbon, leather, fire, mint chocolate, and candy cane. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. This product was created, I believe, on the premise of Unc of Oz, right? The, the artist. So I don't know if this is supposed to be the brother. Um, it's Uncle Oz. I mean, if it's in my family, it's going to be Uncle, Uncle Victor. But either way. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Mel's? I saw Mel's in here. What's going on, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the CMU. Shout out to you, sir. Take a comment down so we... Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. So, oh man, I'm going to hit this and I hope I don't... Okay. I don't know. I don't want to hit the, the camera because then I might ruin it. This is Uncle Oz. Can you see the artwork on that bad boy? That's a... Uh, man, I'm really scared to touch this. No, it's not working. Okay, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> All right, someone please boot my mod. Okay, thank you. All right. A company who has to be different for me to try with them. Okay. A company has to be different for me to try them. With JOFM, it was the green droppers and the Oz artwork that drew me in. I can understand that. I can understand that. I can understand that. I got Uncle Oz, and it is amazing. Okay. Uh, Mike said, this is awesome. Now I've got a live stream to watch. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, I appreciate you. Hey, listen, and make sure you send this out to your friends, man. Tell them to come through to the CMU every Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Right. That should be in radio, right? All right. All right. Cut off your hands. Cuff off your hands. Okay. Dude, that's a bad thing about the app we use, Cruise. It doesn't focus properly. Yeah, me and Mick use the same app to do our live streams. Ugh. All right, here we go. And I read the sent profile to you, okay? All right, here we go. You're about to get my initial reaction impression. <laughs> Vito Vato, make, make me your moderator for 30 minutes. I'll pay you 50 on food. <laughs> 45, 45. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And again, I'll read the sent profile to you. I don't think he put it on here. Okay. Oh, he did. Pipe tobacco, bourbon, leather. This leather, Ken. All right. Fire. Oh, Ken loves smoke. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. Ken doesn't like smoke. All right. Chocolate and candy cane. That's what I get here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Welcome. Oh, look, Hookham is such a Hookham is such a nice brother. Okay. Military? Military? I don't know. Okay. Here we go. And literally, we have this bottle, three bottles, and then some oil, and then some butters, and then, hey, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a surprise at the end. I don't know. You never know what happens at the CMU. Stuff get crazy out here. Let's go. Turn me up. Turn me up. All right. Here we go. Let me drink some coffee. Let me drink some coffee. Okay. Okay, so my first impression, I get the candy cane. I get that up front. It, it starts to settle down. Is there chocolate in here? Yeah, that's what I get. I get the peppermint, the chocolate. No, the, the candy cane and the chocolate, but it's not an overpowering hit. But that's what I'm picking up mostly. I think you can I think you can smell some of the leather in there, but that's what I'm getting mostly. The the candy cane and the chocolate. Okay. So that's that's what I'm getting from this. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going, but this is based off the artwork. I mean, look at the artwork, right? I know you can't see it, but this is Uncle Oz, and I gave you my description, my impression, and uh, yeah, man, but some people really do enjoy this product. It changes throughout the day. Okay, Bam said it changes throughout the day. Okay, so Bam, what would you say it changes throughout the day too, though? You know what I'm saying? Because my first reaction is I get the I get the pepper, the, oh man, why are you saying it? The candy cane, the chocolate, oh, the mint chocolate. That's what I get, the mint chocolate, yeah. I can get maybe like some leather. Okay, smelly, you've been. Okay, so here we go. That was Uncle Oz. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to one of the ones in the community that people have been really like saying it's lit. This is my first time trying Oh Yeah, okay? I've never tried this, but I believe this is a collaboration with uh, Metal Get Metal. Uh, metal chef guy or no, no, no metal guy, right? Steven, Steven. So this is, oh yeah. How many of you? Okay. The minute tobacco come through. Okay. Okay. Bam. Disney wants to know when the new butters will be in stock. Can you let him know, please? This is one of the ones that people have been saying it is like, I'm ex I'm excited to try this one. I'm going to give you the scent profile to this bad boy. You ready for this? The scent profile. Hold on. Let me uh let me let me get it for you. Hold on. Let me get it for you. The scent profile to this bad boy. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. The scent profile, I'm going to get it to you right now. Okay, here we go. Margarita, beer, agave, citrus IPA, grapefruit and marshmallow. Okay. So this is what, oh yeah, is now I, again, I've heard people, I've heard good things about this scent. How many of you have tried? Oh yeah. I know. I can't wait for this. Okay. Oh, so, oh, so, you know, okay. So you know about this. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, what's up, brother Gary? Welcome, brother. Welcome to the CMU. No problem. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the like button, though. Be respectful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so good. That's Hey, listen, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. I want to try. Oh, yeah. That's what I hear. Oh, yeah. This one right here is nice. And again, I'm going to read the scent profile one more time for you if you just got here. The scent profile is Margarita beer, agave, citrus, IPA, grapefruit, and marshmallow. Okay. Here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, oh, listen. If Ryan, listen, listen. All right, man, keep my keep my hoodie. If I have, there's a couple of people in the community that I hold, you know, th that I talk to, that I know been around, that, you know, know their stuff. If Ryan is saying he freaking loves it, I hope I do too. I mean, the scent, because we're talking about scents right here, right? We're not going into the oil carriers or nothing like that, but we're talking about scents, okay? Gary, that's disrespectful, Gary. <laughs> oh, there he is. This is your collaboration with JOFM, right? This is your collaboration, right? Let's see how good this really is. Chad said, never heard a scent profile like that before. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, coming in dirty snow soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so if you're hearing, Bam is telling you right now, right? Oh. <laughs> Cruz, don't say it like that. Please don't. I don't know how I said it. I'll have to go back and, and look. Hopefully, I can edit it out. This sounds crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming in, 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 in uh, dirty, snow, snow, dirty snow soon, which is the butter. And the butter will not have BTMS. So, again, you can pick it up then. And I believe he'll be able to make this product as well for you if you choose to not have BTMS in it, which, like I said before, moving forward, I will not. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Cream of the crop. Okay. It smells so much better once it's in your beard. What I will tell you about Bams, man, his scent profiles, like, hey, Cruz says, oh, yeah, like Steven. No, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. That brother, that brother has so much energy when he says it. Oh, yeah, it's so epic. Okay. Okay. So people, yo, people rock with this one. Not, no, 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 no. Now you got, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get some water. Hold on. Now you guys getting me hype. Now you getting me hype. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Gary, Gary, man. <laughs> so much. It's so crazy and unique. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying it like, like Steven does, though. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. We are about to open this up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. S smell it. <laughs> Mason, I don't know if Mason's still here. Mason said, Mason told me before that I need my own crowd to uh, to say, smell it, smell it. Oh, yeah, and Misfit are the two must-have for dirty snow. Okay, brother Gary, no problem, brother. I know you're a busy gentleman, so have a good night, sir. Thank you for coming through. Who let Ken? What? You got to stop letting your your, your 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 colleagues in this community. You got this brother. This brother's a Packer fan. You're driving metal crazy. Why? Why am I driving metal crazy? This is probably going to go to an hour and thirty minutes. All right, or hour and fifteen. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Thanks for all the love, brothers. Okay, here we go. We about to open this bad boy up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. This is oh yeah. This is oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, it needs to be full time, definitely. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go. Because he had taken away, he, he, he took it away before. He took it away before and he brought it back in stock or it sold out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's always welcome, Gope. <laughs> I got to know what you think. Yo, what if I... Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. 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 All right, here we go. Oh, man. I don't want to cut myself. All right, here we go. Here we go. No, brother, this is nice. This is nice. Let me tell you what I'm experiencing right now. Hold on. Let me tell you what I'm experiencing right now. Give me a second. Man. 
Man. It's nice. Yo, hold up. I don't even know how to explain what I'm experiencing right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you. Okay, hold on. Yo, I don't. Oh, man. Hold on. I don't drink. I don't drink anymore. So I don't. Oh, man. So I'm getting. I'm getting. Um, hold on, please, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Bam, is there carbonation in this? Please let me know. If not, then disregard what I'm about to say. It's I mean, I'm gonna say it's nice. I'm gonna say it's nice because I get some of that 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 fruitiness in here. I get some of that fruitiness in here. But I don't know enough about the other stuff, man. Okay, what I'm going to say, this for me would be a summertime scent. This for me would be, it has to be at least 70 degrees. Okay, Hokum, Hokum, Hokum said to warm it up. All right, I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to warm it up. Okay, I'm going to warm it up. I'm not saying it's bad. Hear me out. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So, I'm, oh man, I don't have, I put too much on my oil. Man, what am I saying? What am I saying? Ah, uh, what I'm saying is it's nice. It's nice, but it's it's I don't know how to explain it. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I smelled I I might have smelled the marshmallows in the beginning when I first tried it, but it's it's something for the summer time. Like, I don't know. Hold on, man. Hold on. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to. It's a refreshing scent. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say this. I would wear this in the summertime. I wouldn't wear this in the wintertime. It is a nice, it is a nice, it's a, man, and this alcohol, I just messed it up by using this alcohol in my hand. Hold on. Hold on, give me a second. It's refreshing. Okay. So if I'm honest, this is more like a summertime scent. It's not something that I would use every day. And that's what I'm going to go with. I wish if I if I knew what IPA is or what it smells like, I get the margarita thing, but it's definitely more of a fruity fragrance. Now, mind you, I like stuff like pear, uh, pineapple, more pear, apple. This is something that is. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Summertime scent, not an everyday thing that I would wear. You get fruitiness. You get, that's why I asked them if there was carbonation in this product. Um, but I don't know enough about the other scents to, to explain to you and say, hey, listen, this definitely smells like IPA. I know y'all laughing at me, but that's what I'm telling you. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So the, that's, oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. It's kind of an of un, unex, unexplainable scent. Yeah, I can go with that. Yeah, I can go with that. Marshmallow comes in late. Okay. Now here's the only thing. My first initial reaction was like, when I talked to you guys, I said it was nice. It settled down a little bit. Now I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. It's not an everyday scent for me. Um, it is an, it is, it is something that I would wear in the summer, but then again, bam stuff, like bam said earlier, it, it may develop later on during the day. A lot of people love it. Um, do I love it? I won't say that I love it, but it would be a summertime scent. So that's what I will say with that. Okay. Okay. You probably, you need a portable sink on Tuesdays. <laughs> okay. Citrusy. Okay. Le lime lemon buddy. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's accurate. Accurate. Okay. All right, guys. 
This one I'm excited about. You're not going to believe what I purchased. You ready for this? Guys, I bought this because they said it smells like Pop-Tarts. Guys, I am opening up Reindeer Treats. Reindeer Treats? Bam. Put in the comments down below, what is, is it like ginger jamboree? It could be, but it's more fruity. It's more fruity. Bam. What is the scent profile for Ranger Treats? Ladies and gentlemen, they said this smells like Pop-Tarts. I'm really not supposed to be eating Pop-Tarts. I'm just letting you know that right now. But again, I told you what I thought. Of, oh, yeah. I told you what I, you know, do I love it? I'm not going to say I love it, but I would wear it in the summertime. Okay. Okay. Blitzen is no longer available. I don't know what Blitzen is. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, reindeer treats. Reindeer treats, okay? Here we go. They said it smells like Pop-Tarts. I don't even know how this is possible. Here we go. You don't have this? Okay. You don't have reindeer treats? Pop-Tarts out of the bag. All right. Okay, Ryan, it has the carbonation feel to it, but scent is nothing like those. Okay, so the, you see, that's what I'm saying. There's a carbonate. I, okay, here we go. Reindeer trees. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me shake it up again. Someone said s'mores. I kind of get that more. Okay. So what I will say, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I get more of a chocolate marshmallow type pop tart. Bram said it's someone said s'mores, and I can kind of understand that. I can kind of understand that. But that's my sm s'more pop tarts all day. Okay, so R even Ryan said it's like s'more pop tarts. That's kind of more of what I'm getting. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, some more pop tarts. That's what you get. That's what you get. Bam says strawberries, but I, bam, I'm telling you, it's more like it, it's more like s'mores. It's more like s'mores. <laughs> Those brown sugar pop tarts are so good. Okay, so that's with that. Okay, that's pop. That's the pop tarts ones. Okay. I get more of a s'more from this, okay? You guys are talking about food in here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, I was just I was just sh uh, sharing my favorite Pop-Tart. Yeah, it's kind of like a s'more, like marshmallow or something like that. If they're still available, get the lump of cold soap. Lather is super, it's freaking sick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Bam sent me this one right here. This is called Nice List, okay? Bam sent me this one. Now, what I want to explain to you about Nice Nice List. Nice List is cedar leather, tonka bean, lime, basil, pine, patchouli, and sandalwood, okay? That's what Nice List is. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, I got to open this up. Disney beers, man. I should get a sink in here, though, brother. I should. I should figure something out because uh, I don't know if some of the oils are, like, passing on from hand. I don't know. Okay. Love the energy. Smash the like buttons. I appreciate you, Chad. Go ahead and do more push-ups, brother. I feel you. I feel you. All right, guys. Ready? And, hey, listen. I have a special announcement at the end of the CMU. If you're here till then, you won't, you won't want to hear this one. Okay? All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Nice list. My take, hold on, he, look what Bam said. 
My take on a cologne scent. And now, okay, here we go. All right. Wait, bam. Let me shake it up real good before I open. All right. All right. Okay, bam. I'm a cologne guy. I'm a cologne guy. Bam, good job. Good job, Bam. Oh, man. Bam, good job. Good job, Bam. Thank you for sending me this one. But you see, guys, I'm a cologne guy, though. Bam. Oh, man. Bam, good job, bro. I'm a cologne guy, though. I want to make that disclaimer. I like cologne scents. Bam, good job, bam. Bam, this is called Nice List. And I'm going to read to you a great, hey, Brian, it's called Nice List. Brian, I've never seen you here before. Welcome to the CMU. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you for coming through. I'm going to read, I'm going to read the same profile again. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, bam. Uh, Cedar, leather, tonka bean, lime, basil, pine, patchouli, and sandalwood. Okay, that is what makes nice list up. Bam said, you're not big into colognes. I, you know, every every content creator out there is like known for something to a degree. Ken is the leather guy, okay? Ken is leather. He That's his thing. Ken is into leather. I'm more of a cologne guy. I like cologne scents. So I'm going to tell you right here, nice list. Yeah, guys, bam, good job, man. Bam. Oh. Now, you got to make this in dirty snow, okay? You got to make this in dirty snow, all right? What? It was my first scent I ever made. It was out for seven months. Okay, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from the ones that I've received today from the, from the scent profiles, this is the one that I like the most. Yes, this one right here. This one, the one that I would pick right here. Nice list, okay? Hey, Brian. Oh, welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going because uh, we're running over time and it's time to open up these butters. Now, again, Bam went online. Tommy has it in... To Bam, I'm not buying any more from you, brother. Stop sending stuff to Tommy. He has everything in your collection almost. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to open up some dirty snow, some dirty snow, some dirty snow from JOFM. Here we go. Nice list is really good, but if Bam ever brings back, you need to get 25. Okay. I've never heard of that one. 20, if you like nice list, wait till you I bring back 25. Okay, Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open this up. Here we go. And listen, I'm going to show you the presentation on this bad boy. Okay. I'm going to show you the presentation. Here we go. This is Dirty Snow. These are like frosted, yeah, frosted glass jars. This is a natural fragrance. Bam, this one doesn't have any fragrance to it, but I want to show you how it looks. This is how the bottle looks right here. You see? Frosted glass. Bam, this is called Dirty Snow. Bam put this out. Bam put this out, and it sold out like this. Like literally in like an hour or two. All his, all, all his Dirty Snow, all his butters. So again, this has no BTMS in it, okay? All right. So with that being said, uh, so with that being said, I'm gonna show you. Uh, it doesn't have a fragrance to it, but I do like the presentation. I don't know if you can see it. Why it look like? Man. Okay, bam. All right, bam. Okay. So this, I can't speak too much about this because this has no fragrance in it. But, bam, I do appreciate the two-ounce jar, correct? Two-ounce jar. And I do appreciate the presentation of the frosted of the frosted um, jar. I appreciate it. He has a sticker over here. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, right? Okay, here we go. I got to keep it moving because we got to go. We got to go. We're over our time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, which one is this one? Okay, so this one's an easy one. I'm going to open it up right quick. I want you to see what it looks like. 
Again, presentation, pretty cool, pretty cool. Dirty Snow, his take on the butter. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but, oh, uh, man, this is literally what makes up his dirty, uh, his dirty Snow, his butter. So the ingredients are down there on below. All right, so here we go. I already know what this smells like, but I'm ex I'll, I'll be hey bam, I'm gonna be excited to try this eventually. Uh, because it is your new butter, and people are saying good things about your butter. <sighs> misfit toys, ladies and gentlemen. It's not it's just it's misfit toys, it's misfit toys, but it is a butter. He has a butter now, and these butters have you know no BTMS. If you don't like it, you know what. Bam. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, but this is the one that I don't have in the oil. This is called A Good Night. A Good Night, okay? A Good Night. Look at the presentation. Supposedly, this is like a nighttime scent, okay? But it is in a butter. So here we go. This is the last one. I'll make my announcement. I'll thank you guys for coming in, and then we'll head out, okay? But I'm going to make my announcement, though, okay? So I literally have now two of Jolly Old Fat Man Butters, and with this one, it becomes the third. And I want to thank all 40, what, 40, 40, how many of you were here tonight? 44 of you guys. We had 40, no, we had 46 at one point. All right, here we go. And I'm going to read to you. It is chamomile, yingling, tea, cotton, agave, and feng shui. I don't know if, if I'm saying it correctly, okay? Here we go. Bam, I pick up the cotton. You have cotton in here. Yes? Yes? Yes. This is going to be a cool butter to go to bed to. Yeah, it's going to be a cool butter to go to bed to. I could, bam, I could put, bam, this is going to be, a, and I'm going to have to put this in my rotation to go to bed, like to try it, you know? This is a pleasant scent. It's pleasant. Okay. Okay, guys, look at this presentation, all right? Ah, you can't see it from there. The presentation on this, pretty cool. Again, I'm going to go with Misfit Toys because I know how it smells like. Yeah, it opens up the sinuses. Okay. Okay. Go as long as you want, J. Cruz. <laughs> What's going on, Hookem? Okay, so listen. Bam says he's been getting great reviews for the butter. Now, Bam took his time with this butter. One thing about Bam, you will know, Bam is not one to go with the trends, right? The brother likes to be, you know, he's not He's not one of those guys. He's just not. So Bam took his time with the butters. He sent it out to a couple of different people. But Misfit is his best seller. So if you never bought JOFM before, what would be your first go-to combo? If I okay, so if I was to say, hey, listen, try this combo, I would tell you, Ryan, try Misfit Toys, uh, get the butter, and I would tell you to get the oil. Um, my recommendation would be without BTMS, but that's me. Um, Misfit is the best seller. Okay, J. Cruz, don't eat the dirty snow, brother. Don't be disrespectful like that. KC. Yo, I don't know if Casey does this on purpose, brother. He always shows up late to my live stream. No, but I appreciate you, brother. Make sure you hit the like button. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is my announcement to you guys. First of all, I want to thank everyone that was here tonight. Everyone that was here tonight. I am excited for what some of the stuff that Bam has going on. I want to let you guys know right now that Bam is literally, he's dropping a new carrier blend for the people in the community to try his products um, he has new butters. I mean, he has new butters, man. I, I'm rocking these jars. The presentation is nice, Bam. I'm letting you know right now the presentation is nice. Um, so again, and he has a new uh, carrier oil blend that he's allowing the community to know about, and it has no BTMS. Again, this is my personal opinion, um, uh, my choice. I'll say it like that. That's my choice. Um, that I would, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep buying from Bam, um, but I'm gonna do the newer option he has with the no BTMS. Okay, all right, London Fog. Okay, I would say Misfit Toys. Okay, Misfit Toys. So you hear it here first. Misfit Toys is where you need to go first, and he has it, he has it in a butter already. 
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all 46 of you that came out tonight to the CMU. If you're watching this video later on, if you're watching the video later on, again, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate all of you that come on a weekly basis to the CMU. <laughs> um, let me let me just highlight this. Um, um, Bam has a new oil coming out or butter as well, right? Called Sweet Baby Jesus. Guys, just go on Bam's uh, Instagram and you'll see why it's kind of funny. He's dropping. It's called Sweet Baby Jesus. He's saying it's so good. He can't wait to release it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm letting you know right now. Yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. And if you're your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everyone that came out tonight. Let's do it again next week. Next week. It might be a two-hour show, man. I got a huge unboxing next week that I won in a giveaway, which is crazy. I won this in a giveaway. I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you guys continue to stay positive, take care of yourself, have fun in the community, make sure to build each other up. If you have not seen my last Monday Motivation video, I think you should go watch it. It's called Your Circle. Your Circle. I think you should go watch that Monday Motivational video. I appreciate you guys. So I appreciate you guys. So here's my news. I want you to save the day. I'm letting you know right now. Jan, we have a CMU next week. We're doing a live unboxing. But January 26, I want you to save that day. I'm letting you know now. I will be revealing more information later down the week. But the January 26, the last Tuesday of the month, we got I got something real special for the CMU. So I hope you guys make it. I got, hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to save the date, January 26th. I'm telling you, we're going to have some fun. It's more of a celebration. That's all I'm going to say. All right, people. Remember to take care of yourself. How to blast, Jay Cruz. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, for the <clears> – <throat> thanks, Cruz. Have a great week. Everyone, have a great week. Thank you, guys. Take care of yourself. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Stay healthy.